the LTO has established a new district office in Carmona, Cavite. The DOTR sees this as a significant development for both the agency and the province. Motoring Forum discusses why. Establishing a new government district office in a central location is always a significant development. Establishing one during a pandemic that, for a time, locked up whole communities, shut down the economy, and paralyzed transport makes it even more important. The LTO did just that last month with the inauguration of a district office in Carmona, Cavite. The Carmona District Office is located at the Macaria Business Center in Barangay Mabuhay. The location is important as it lies in an area that has seen an exponential growth in residential subdivisions, which comes with an exponential growth in the number of private vehicle owners best served by an LTO District Office. The timing of the opening of the LTO Carmona District Office is also important as it shows how the DOTR and its line agencies have been steadfast in continuing development event in a pandemic. During the inauguration, LTO Chief Edgar Galvante said it is very fortunate that even with the ongoing pandemic crisis we are experiencing, we are still given the opportunity to continuously serve our clients. We are especially delighted that through this event, our agency's commitment to effectively implement various transportation laws, rules, and regulations continue being transformed to concrete realities. The significance of the inauguration of a new district office in a strategic area is emphasized by the attendance of DOTR Secretary Arthur Tugadi himself. In his speech, Secretary Tugade said he was there to show that he shares the aims and steps being undertaken by the LT under its chief, Assistant Secretary Ed Galvante. The Transport Secretary also exhorted the officers in rank and file of the new LTO district to establish a culture of honest and efficient public service. While we inaugurate this building, alalahanin natin na walang silbi ang gusali. Hindi ito magtatagal ko ang mga taong nasa loob ay walang culture, values, and ways of doing things, he said. Secretary Tugadi said he wanted only to see two things happen at the district office. Dapat walang korupsyon dito. Ang korupsyon ay nagiging bahid sa ating bayan. Pangalawa, iksiyan natin ang mga proseso para masunod natin ang ating Pangulo na huwag pahirapan ang mga Pilipino, he said. The importance of the inauguration of the LTO Carmona District Office was also shown by the attendance of important personages of the municipality of Carmona and the province of Cavite, as well as the influential members of the private sector. These included Cavite 4th District Representative Dalia Loyola, Carmona Mayor Roy Loyola, Global Lighting Philippines Economic Consultant Henry Teng, and Philip Santos of PRGR Incorporated. Also in attendance were LTO Regional Office 4 Regional Director Norin Luis Lute and Assistant Regional Director April Casabuena. The job of leading the new LTO District Office and ensuring it fulfills the mandate set forth by Secretary Tugade and LTO Chief Galvante falls on Carmona District Office Chief Lynn Gutierrez. The DOTR and its line agencies have been quite active with plans and schemes to improve its services for its clients, motorists, public transport operators, commuters, even under restrictions forced up the nation by the COVID-19 pandemic. Some are even saying that DOTR is now seeing the pandemic as an opportunity to fast-track some of its programs. That's our Motoring Forum this week, courtesy of Suzuki Philippines.